Our whole engineering program runs around our technical people and our officers as engineers. They are what provide the fleet with the knowledge and the skills to make us capable. So recognition of both areas, both the technologists and the engineers, was incredibly important. Charter does two things. It allows us to meet regulatory requirements by being independently assessed and reviewed, but it also gives us a recognition outside that we are a professional entity that is globally understood and we are meeting the global standard. So when a ship goes overseas, we don't always engage with other um, enterprises or contractors. Um, but if we do and we know that they've been recognised on the same platform that Engineers Australia has, we can talk the same language and they recognise our skills as much as we recognise their skills. The work that we did looking at the Navy requirements gave us full confidence that they met or exceeded the chartered requirements and really demonstrating excellence. This benefits themselves through increasing their competitiveness for promotion and different roles and also it benefits the organisation through the development of our people and shows that we invest in our people. The international recognition is important because it gives me confidence that the skills, the qualifications, the experiences that I attain throughout my Navy career are on par with other international navies and international maritime organisations. 